Alright, I'm Sovereign Sage, and I said that I wanted to try to do playthroughs on Way of the Samurai 4 again. Um, so currently, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just setting up the character. Um, the character I'm going to be using, if people don't know about this game, is a DLC character. She's actually one of the girls from the first game, I think. It's either the first or second. Um, she was like a little orphan girl that you as a player would kind of like take an interest in she would help you and like give you food and stuff and she always felt sorry for you and everybody would always tell her to stop worrying about a fugitive and stuff like that and she like couldn't talk I guess she was uh, a mute um so she can't talk but yeah so this is her as, as an adult so we're gonna go ahead and save I have multiple save files um I have almost 200 hours in the game, and I've had it for a long time. Like, I have multiple characters I could use that I have unlocked. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and start this. Again, in the description for these playthroughs on these games, I always put down the guides on what it is that I did. So we are going for the Road to Ruin ending. I don't, it's one that I've done a long time ago, but I would like to redo it with this camera because it could pick up better. So, I really do like this game because it gives you missions and there's a bunch of other weird shit. <laughs> a four play session is 20. Uh oh. You didn't see that. Pretend like you didn't see that. So what we're doing is we're going for the Amihama Harbor Skirmish. So there's a lot that happens with these games in particular on what you have to say to trigger events to get other paths to open up. The ones that are solid black are ones that I haven't gotten before. Um, that's because that's the Light of Hope ending, I think. The one that's way the hell down here. Like this one here, that's the Light of Hope ending. Um, that's like the true ending. And it's one of the hardest endings, in my opinion, because there's a lot of shit you have to do. And I've never been able to pull it off successfully. There's total, I think, 10 endings. So you have the Flames of the Prajna, or Flames of Prajna, Fevered Spirits, Road to Ruin, um, A Change of Heart, Setting Off to Foreign Lands, Samurai Straight as a Demon Scale, Boiled Samurai, then a Light of Hope ending. Which I have not achieved, at least on this so far. So we're going for the road to ruin. Um, it's basically where you side with the main evil guy in the game, uh, Ansen Kinigawa, or Kinigua, however you want to say it, Kinigawa, um, to take over all of Japan. So it's the green one here. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're following this green path, and it branches here. The Imperial Sword. Okay. So we're following the green one. So the green one. The green route is the one I'm going to be doing. Um, but it branches, see, you see it goes from yellow back to green, it crosses into red, so... You have to be careful when it comes to these endings, because it's, it's easily screw-upable. And there has been pathways that I've been trying to get that I've screwed up. So anything that's highlighted in this purple box is where you're at right now. So I have to go into the yellow pathway to get into the green one. Once you do this shit on the shore, it opens up all pathways for you. They all become openable. Um, so you can choose which one you want. So purple one is hidden endings, yellow is other, um, blue is foreigners, green is shogunate, and red is a prajna. You can see the little guide over here on this side. Uh, me putting my hand in front of it caused it to go super bright. but. Each color coordinates to the three main factions in the game. So you got the foreigners, you got the shogunate, then you got the prashnas. Other is like whatever. Purple is hidden. Those are like hidden routes. Um, purple is like a hidden color. So samurai on board. I took a, took a tour of Amihama. I arrived on the boat. So right now we are currently on the Amihama Harbor Skirmish. So again, this one, it, it doesn't really matter what you say. Um, when Akagi comes up to take Laura, you can tell him whatever. Um, but there is one ending, the Light of Hope ending. There's two guys that have a cannon. 
that are aiming it at the three sisters, which are Kinagawa's daughters. They're like the three princesses. Uh, they'll be aiming the cannons at them on the water when they're on the boat trying to get to shore. And if you defeat them, it allows them to come to shore and then you have to fight them. And that's like an entirely different ending. So for this one, you want to just ignore all of that. I gotta remember how to activate my spring harvest. I don't know why I just started thinking about that all of a sudden. Oh no, my spring harvest cage! Oh. Yeah, I think if like, you break shit in this game, like, it deducts you points. This this game, uh, you get points for based on what you do. And if you go around breaking crap, I think it deducts you points. I like how if you aim it at the sun, it's like blue. Almost looks like I have a little Navi with me for a second. Hold on, there, yeah. Okay, I don't know what I was doing there. The blue light took over my soul, and I don't know why it feels like my game is lagging. Why are you lagging? I can't remember if I have to say anything to Akemi. She's the fourth sister and she hides as a villager. She disguises herself. And I can't remember if I have to say anything to her. Because that also determines what ending you go down. If you talk to her or not, if you say anything to her. So I'm like, shit. You could choose to say something to her or not. I most likely will choose not to say anything. Or maybe I'll just say fight, fight, and win. So this is Laura. She is part of the um, foreigners. This is Mayu and Yuri and Chika in the middle. So they are the Kinagawa sisters. They're like the three princesses. Yuri's my favorite. She's the one with the short hair. She reminds me of Okuni, and that's probably why I like her. Friggin' Jet Jenkins! Come on, let us see Jet. Let us see how cool he is with his freaking hair. Yeah, so Mayu's the one talking now. Chika's the one in the center. And Yuri's the one on the other side with the short hair. Jet Jenkins! Laura's cute. I saw people playing as her and I think it's a mod. You can't play as young children in this game and she's like a child. She's also the British ambassador. Moro should get a Moro. I like Moro a lot. You're simply terrible, head face palms. <laughs> ha! He's like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm super high. My, my, what a fantastically interesting dialogue. <laughs> Clearly you have a red future plan as I just slap my face on a table and break ancient China like an asshole. <laughs> Can you imagine if you laugh like that? It's so ridiculous. Is it weird that I find Moro attractive? The fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck is wrong with me? Alright, let's get this going. So Akemi um, is the fourth sister, and she disguises herself as a villager, and she appears behind me at some point, and she's like, aren't you going to fight or some shit? Aren't you a samurai? So this is Kotobuki, he's with the shogunate, so he serves Kinagawa. He's like, look at how cool I am. I'm so cool. Melinda Mega Melons. She's with the, uh, freaking British people. Yeah, she's with Laura. She serves as Laura's personal night guard. So she's with the, the British, the foreigners is where she's with. You can tell by her freaking armor, by the way. Nobody in Japan dresses like that. So these are the Prajna. Led by Akagi Reto, which is the main guy. I like Akagi. He's cool. Yes, there he is. I like, uh, what's his name? Kogure. Jinrei Kogure. I was wondering when you'd show. <laughs> You're nothing but a criminal! 
this game is so comical. Everything is funny. So it is, it's hard to take it serious. Fight that shit. He's like, what? I didn't give no order to attack. Jinrei Kagurai. He's so cool, he's like freaking Yoshitsugu. Oh, Tani, like Samurai Warrior is Yoshitsugu. I like him too, I think he's attractive. What's wrong with me? I like I like characters with scarves, what can I say? I'm, I think I have a scarf fetish, oh my god. Everybody fucking run, oh, okay. Get him! Now she's kind of looking like Shaho Ba there for a second. <laughs> There's the guys manning the cannon. So, the cami. Yeah, I, I know. Um, maybe. So I can choose to say something to her or not. So what would you have me do? It would be futile to interfere. Fight, fight, and win. Um, I don't remember if I say anything to her. Fuck. Because depending on what you say will ruin the ending. I'm gonna just say fight, fight, and win. Don't you tell me to do my best. Screw you. Oh my god, okay! Oh my god, you're an asshole! Hey, come on. I haven't played this game in a long time. You gotta give me a damn second here. Come on, what do you got? Oh my god! So you gotta be careful when you're fighting them because you can you can fail this horribly and then it ends in you dying every time. So there's a route that if you don't kill these guys successfully, it'll end with you dying. Oh my god! Come on now. Some of the moves in this game are ridiculous, but I can't really pull them off right now. My stamina later is really low, I gotta be careful. It's, it's the purple gauge and it's gone, so I can be knocked off balance. I can't really fight too well like that. They didn't drop a damn cheesecake. Chicken cake is what it's called. It's literally a little thing that's yellow that's shaped like a chicken. <laughs> Laura, what are you doing? Whoa. Looks so good, but that it didn't have to do anything on my hands. Oh my god. Shit. Shit. Just random English. <laughs> They're coming with us. Don't worry. We ain't gonna bite hard. What a, what the fuck is it? Oh my god. <laughs> You're here to rescue the study for Yeah, I am. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Take your hands off her. Oh. Yeah, okay, Mara. Mara was basically fucking Shunyo. <laughs> I will kill your men, then I will kill you. She's like, oh dear. Okay. Eh. Mara, please get out of the way. Money. Money! Money! <laughs> I picked up a motherfucking carrot. Carrot. <laughs> Carrot saw. Huh? Oh my god. Laura, I will hit you, please. Laura. 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 <laughs> She's like, let me get that plate. Oh, I like how the guy's dying through him. What is that? <laughs> I don't care if my men die inside of me. Yeah, okay, Akagi. Akagi. Uh. Akagi. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Why is this so delayed? I regret that you and I are enemies. By all appearances, you're nothing more than a ronin, but there's something more to you as well. Yeah, I guess so. Tell me. What do you think of the direction of this country and the sham it's become? If you could ever lose heart, we would like. To... I can't read. The smell of your perfume makes it easy to smell you coming. You know. You savages! Come on, Linda. I don't know why your last name is Mega Melons, but okay. Ah. Oh.
I'm gonna die. Just fucking mad sick flips. Listen. How was it again? I forgot how to activate my spring harvest gauge. Cut a bridge. No. I give up. Please forgive me. I don't beg. Can somebody please help me kill myself? I give up. Summon it. I like how it says hand when I'm clearly a woman. Oh no, they're going to torture me. No, really, please, no. Come on, don't do this. Don't do this fucking shit to me. If I end up in the torture room, I I'm going to be so fu so sad. No, it just lets you out. So I kind of screwed that up already. You're not supposed to get caught. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. The reason why they zoom in on the character's ass is because in this game, um, you're supposed to get beaten. So you're, if you play with the, with like, uh, in the underwear or a nude mod, uh, it's not a nude mod. You can take the character's clothes off in this game. Like, not nude, but yeah, just put some in their undergarments. Um, like your ass is supposed to be red from where they beat you. Um, damn it. So I'm basically gonna have to, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to, uh, Shit. I I don't know if it, if I can reload that because this game has a weird loads options that um it's one of those games that if you fail it you fail it for real like it won't let you cut all the way back out um, I would have to literally default load the game I'd have to quit out and reload it I think my spring harvest gauge is I'm supposed to go wait hold on. So I changed my controls for this game. Yeah, I'll one to put them away. I think it's supposed to hold your guard button. So guarding, and then I'm supposed to hit um, L1, right? Yeah, okay. Spring harvest, that's what I should have did. Cancel. Okay. It Like I, I said, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so forgive me if I fuck it up. It's just I can't remember, and I was trying to remember, and because I kept fucking around with my buttons, um, I got killed. Well, I didn't get killed, but... Ooh. Yeah, this sucks. This is just one of those games that if you don't do it right the first time, you're fucked. I needed to pull stuff out of my storage. Cause I, ha I took over the dojo in this game and I have a bunch of shit in my storage. But at the very, very beginning of the game, you can't access any of that until you get through that first fight. So I'm gonna have to leave and then come back and repeat that all again. That's why I was noticing, I was like, my stamina gauge is down, so this is the main fight that's still happening. It's still happening. Maybe I could have finished it by coming back and joining in on it. I have no idea, probably not. So I'm gonna leave and come back. I kind of figured this was gonna happen. So you can leave and then come back. Like this is how this game works. There is no reset or anything like that. If you fail an event, you literally have to go back and start all the way over. That's why some people get a little sad with this game. Um, because it's one of those games where if you don't do it right, it's not like today's games where you could hit a menu and hit, go, like, return to main menu. Some games have that option or they have, like, a quit option or something. This game doesn't have that. Um, once you start up a, a save fall, you're locked into it. You can't quit back to the title screen unless you die. Um, or unless you leave, like I'm doing right now. That's what makes it difficult about doing playthroughs on this game is you have to be perfect. You have to come into whatever ending you want. You gotta be perfect at it, because if you're not, you're fucking screwed. That's why it's recommended that if you're doing a playthrough on any one of the endings, to save constantly because of shit like this. 
So it's going to have me start again. So I'm literally starting all over. No, wait, wait, wait. I already know what I have her the same. No. I'm losing my mind. If they would have dropped the chicken cake, this would have been so much easier. They didn't drop no fucking chicken cakes. Why didn't you drop the chicken cake, you dick? To be fair though, it was my fault too. I forgot how to do spring harvest. I'm a fucking idiot. To pull out your weapon or to put your weapon away is L1. And to guard is R1. And normally when I play other games like Dynasty or whatever, whatever any other game I own, my guard button is L1. So it's reversed in this game. So that's kind of another thing that was screwing me up is my guard button isn't L1 in this game, it's R1. So, I'm, I'm so used to playing other games where my guard button is L1. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could switch that, but, uh... Let's skip all this nonsense that we had already seen, because I'm a total idiot. There's a fast-forward button, too, that's even more funny. Like, when they're talking, if you hold it down, they just move around really fast and it looks kind of stupid. Like, it looks like this if you fast-forward it. It's like, woo! And I think because I'm fast forwarding it, I don't even think you get to hear him talk, no. I'm not saying anything to you. I'm ready. Hold up, I'm not that fucking skip. Get out of the way. The fuck out of the way. Give me a chicken cake, you asshole. I really need to stop that. My stance changed. It lags a lot. This game lags a lot. There's a lot of characters on the screen. It hates me. It hates me. Ah, die, dick. Come on. Oh, I hit her. Sorry. Drinking on the job. I raised my spring harvest gauge because I can use it to annihilate her. But after you fight Melinda, you have to fight Kotobuki also. I'm going to skip that. Hey. Let her go, you fucking moron. Yeah, I'll do the thing. Hey, take your hands off of her. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Okay, it's the kill. Sorry, sometimes I like to do stupid barrel rolls. I don't know why. My power is unfathomable. I'm just insta-killing them because of my sick power! Okay, whatever. Whatever. Come on, Akagi. I think it was the wine I drank increased my attack bullshit. Round two. Ah. Get up. She's looking at her just blocking. Look at how stupid this looks. Don't fucking block me. Don't fucking block me. Don't! Bleed into your essence. I was unprepared. I'll fight with you. Show me that. Oh my god! Come on, Kotobuki san. What are you? Oh my god! <laughs> You're so desperate. You have considerable skill. Oh, she got a. Where have you been? This is no time to be gravitating around. Well, you seem fine to me. It's just no cause for alarm after all. <laughs> Shigeru kind of helped me there. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, yeah, you denied. You sure you won't join our fight? What nonsense! Don't listen to them, samurai. You saw what they did. They're nothing more than murderers, outlaws. Go to the earth. Yeah, okay. You decide for yourself. No pressure. If you should decide to join us, meet us at the Shinzo Shrine down the road. We'll be waiting. Don't just stand there. Chase them. <laughs> I assume you were part of the Prajna Xenophobes. My apologies for the error. So what say you? Will you jar in our fight? We will be hoping to recruit a samurai of your skill. Think it over. The gates of the Magistrate's office are always open should you decide. Oh my god. I owe you my life! I imagine her to talk like that. Hmm? If you get a chance, won't you please come by the consulate sometime? In Little Britain, our gates will always be open to you. Everybody wants me. Jesus Christ. So all three factions... Oh, hi. Have a... Wanted me to join them. I look forward to seeing what you do have in store for a humble town next. I can't fucking read. Jeez, okay. Please calm the holy fuck down. She's like, you're super cool! Man, what, why? <laughs> eh. Eh. Chocolate. Eh. Eh. By me doing this, by the way, it's deducting my samurai points. It's considered to be uh, deplorable. All I've ever wanted to do is break a barrel with my whole body weight. Eh. 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 Ooh, wedding stone. Eh. Mm. Money. Eh. Don't eat that chocolate. Wedding stone. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Let me take a picture of you unmoving and I fucking leap into the air like a psycho. After he says unmoving and I'm like, I have no time for you. Uh -uh. Hello. Let's see. Oni. Gam. I should have stuff in my storage, but I can't be for sure. Yeah. Let me go to. Let me go see. Before I go to the magistrate, I can't freaking join. Ah. So my my uh, stamina gauge is the little purple gauge. You can see it refilling. It says vitality, but that's actually your stamina gauge. People always get that wrong with this game. The green gauge is your life. The purple is your stamina. The little carrot in the middle is your spring harvest. Once the purple goes down, you can't actually attack too well. Like, you'll become more staggerable, and you take more damage, and that's what was happening to me. So the Magistrate is near the main plaza, but this is the dojo, and I'm pretty sure I own it. Usually for every playthrough, though, sometimes you have to come back and retake it, and you have to fight a uh, sensei. I actually have her unlocked. I think I'm just missing her outfit. So this is Sensei. I like her outfit a lot. She kinda reminds me of, my, of me. She kinda also reminds me of a Reika Kuze from Fiddle Frame 3 a little bit. Ah. Put the camera on her fucking face. Well, I'm about out of time. So we'll pick this up later.